Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I am David, and this is Warriors of Light Astro Tarot. I'm doing a very special heart spread reading this week. Uh, this is reading for the one that you can't get out of your head. The one that got away. The one you can't get off your mind. It's not necessarily the one you're with now. This is. This could be, if, it, if but you're in my case, I'm very much in love. That's not going to change. It could be the rest of my life. But there is someone that fits this bill. And I, I think I have dealt with it. Um, so you could be married and very happily married and everything. But we, a lot of us have this energy of that person, okay? Or that's not the case, you know? It's not necessarily someone you're act, act, actively involved with. Sorry, it's Mercury retrograde. I can barely fucking talk. I'm tired. It's crazy. And this is kind of a Mercury retrograde reading. It does go direct, you know, in a couple of days now, literally. Um, so, you know, what Mercury retrograde does gets you rethinking. If you don't reach out, you know, rethink, you know, and review these old relationships. It's what it's for. Um, but I'm trying to get some insight on this and the way it's helpful, Spirit, if you could, um, for our Gemini's, not just explain the situation, try to get some helpful insight, okay? So I think we got something. Bottom of the deck, guys, you got the Two of Wands. Um, there was a decision. Somebody took action. Gilded Terra Royale, if you give a darn. Um, it's as the overall energy. And I, I think I got beat on this. I did take a minute to look at it. I usually don't do the reverses, but... This card is, I go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And I did this, and it was reversed. And I went to flip it around, and it fell down back to reverse. And I went to flip, and then the second time I said, David, it, it wants to be reversed, leave it alone. So I left it alone. So it, this wanted to be reversed. And so this is your energy in and around this relationship, the tower. So let's start there. It's major kana, so it's a big deal. First of all, Around this relationship, consider an astrology reading. I'll sell myself, um, and especially if you have the time of yourself, obviously, and your other person, really look at the synastry because a lot of times with this relationship, it says a lot about us. You know, um, the fact that this is that person that we can't get out of their mind. And um, another thing I like to do, if, if you remember the time that you met this person for the first time. In the place, and a, a lot of chicks do, <laughs> some guys maybe, um, but that can, I create a event chart for first meeting, it's called it a first meeting chart, you know, and I have one for my relationship, and I, I'm big on first meeting char charts, I think they're replete with meaning and helpful uh, insight into the relationship, a lot of people don't, I do, I think you got to know how to read an event chart though, for one. So I think there's something going astrologically with this tower. Um, the mm, tower is literally Mars energy too. But being reversed generally, it's about you're trying to keep something from collapsing. And my feeling when I look at this, you know, I think this was an affair. If not an affair, it was like a sexual relationship. Could have been almost like a, a, a friends with benefits situation. Um, and I get the feeling like at some point you were trying to keep it from falling, just falling down uh, from failing. And so your person comes in with the queen of wands. It could have been a fire sign, but the main thing with this, very charismatic, very beautiful, very sexy. This was, and you're coming in here with the king of wands. Leave me a comment. This relationship, this sex was so fucking wild and so good. Jim and I, that you could have broke bones, you know, you could have hurt each other accidentally, you know, just from the gymnastics and shit. I mean, that's the kind of thing I'm talking about here. And, you know, um, the way it was with mine, the one I'm thinking of, <laughs> I've never had that before, uh, uh, kind of sense, really. You know, I have a very wonderful sex, I'm very grateful, but it's, it's not, it'll never be. I think that's what you got to realize sometimes with these things. They leave a scar like a soldier that comes back from war and they got a big old scar. You can put uh, herbal cream on the rest of your life. You always gonna have that scar. And it just comes a part of what you are after a while. And that's life. That's how it's uh, God or life is always chiseling away at us and creating a more beautiful thing, really. Although it's painful often to be chiseled at, no? So, but this person's a highly charismatic, very confident, come in uh, here. And I think with them being the Knight of Cups, and then you with the King of Wands, it really fired you up. You may have fire in your chart too, but it's just like you 
met them and you were really, it, I think you probably think about this as the best sex in your life. Leave me a comment. Tell me I'm wrong. I bet you do. It's like, and you might be thinking like, do I'll never have sex like this again? And maybe you won't, but really it's not as bad as you think because you might have better sex in a little di different way, you know? Uh, maybe it's not fire sex, but it's better. It's just hard to explain. It could happen. It happened to me. So, and then I see them with the Knight of Cups, the way they're reacting to you, particularly over the magician, this advice from spirit. This, this player energy, guys, this player energy. So they were a player. I, I kind of maybe got the sense with this because you're meeting them with the King of Wands and you kind of knew it. So this maybe wasn't someone that come in and said, oh, I really love you and you're the only one and I'll be faithful. They were like, hey, you know, I want to have fun. And I want you to know, and you know, I see other people, something like that, you know, and you're like, okay. And this is why this is in reverse. So you were trying to go along, but I, I don't think you're built for it, you know, uh, maybe. And you're coming under here with the, the world card under this King of Wands. So um, th to me, this really shows, with combined with the tower, um, this may have ended a cycle for you. And like, I, I don't know, I, my experience, your name's Amelie, and I think of it like uh, the Grand Canyon of my life. It's like there's the side that's before her and the side of my life that's after her. And there's a deep canyon carved in my heart, not going to lie, uh, that is her and that is that experience. And, you know, it took a long time but to move on from that, but I did and, um, you know, came to terms with it at every level. Um, and I, I think you can too, but I think that's kind of showing, you know, this is such a big deal. It'd be hard to explain to people, you know, you know it, right? And it represents something that uh, maybe getting past it, it really moves you up to another level. You may have already done that. If not, maybe this reading helps you get there. Um, you know, you, you never want to do this here, my opinion, you know? Um, and so like um, what I mean is like, you were probably making concessions. This, my God, this could be exactly what happened. At the end, she was like, I only want to see you excuse, exclusively, but I can't have any kind of relationship, no contact with you. I will call you randomly, and I will come over and fuck your brains out. And it, and at first, I said, in therapy, my therapist said, well, maybe go with it. She needs time, and she'll come around. And so I tried to, and I didn't lie. I'm a being Scorpio. I can't do that. And so I tried to, this is what I did right here. I tried to keep the tower from falling. And I think that may be something like what's going on here, if you know what I mean. You know, and I, I just don't think it's a good idea. Look here now, if you just want friends with benefits and you're good with that, no judgment, that's fantastic. You know, we're all adults and if it works, it's it's a fantastic thing, you know. I had no problem with it at all. I just like, I'm not built for that shit, you know. I know it myself, you know. And I kind of, you know, I wish I was, you know. I wish I were built for that. Um, you know, and so also the magician here could show you that they were being manipulative, huh? And it's basically, I think, what spirit, this is spirit's advice for about them and for you. Um, and it's like, you just need to level up and do your own thing and be solid in yourself and learn from this experience and move to that next level and start a new cycle, a new cycle wherein you never again, you know, it betray yourself in a way where you bend over backwards and try to keep this tower from falling. A reverse tower is trying to keep the tower from falling. And a the tower, they always say, and it's true, it falls to help us. It falls because something isn't working. Okay? And, you know, this four of cups here is the advice from Spirit for this whole reading. And that advice is to recognize emotionally, I think. No, no offense, I've been with Gemini women. I'm a Sag. And um, a lot of times, uh, Geminis are not real big on the emotions. And, that, and, you know, that's just what this is saying. It's saying, al allow yourself to really sit in the emotions of this. And it could be emotions of, of, of abandonment, if you have those issues. I have those issues. It could just be emotions about being rejected and that kind of thing. And really, with this world and now the King of Cups, what it kind of implies is from this, if you allow yourself to go into the emotions, really feel them, work through them, you move up to a whole new level where you become the master of your own emotions with the King of Cups. You know, someone that knows their own emotions, they're emotionally available, emotionally intelligent, 
and all of that. So let me know what you think of that, guys. Do like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. On YouTube, I'm at 995. I want to get to 1,000. Thank you.